Hello and welcome back to The Brick Den and a very very special video because this is my Q&A video for 5,000 subscribers. Now before we begin I must thank you so so much for all the amazing support. This channel really would not be here without all your amazing support, all your amazing comments, likes. I'm very very grateful for it. Now also I must say that you gave so many questions I'm not going to get to all of them in this video so if I don't answer your question I will try and message you on Instagram or reply to you on YouTube. But without further ado, let's begin. So the first question I've got here is from Captain Derpstar who says what is your favourite Star Wars Lego set and favourite Lego set of each theme and what is your favourite mock? I've made. So, my favourite Star Wars Lego set, one of them would probably be the 2013 ATTE. Um, I'd probably say the Force Awakens Poe Dameron's X Wing. I also do like that one quite a lot. And then possibly Yoda's Starfighter, I think from a couple of years ago. Now, his second part is favourite sets from each Lego theme. Now, I'm only going to do the themes that I've got a fair amount of the sets from. Now the first one would probably be the modular buildings. Now my favourite modular buildings are these two, which is the pet shop and the Parisian restaurant. And then for DC Comics, I'm going to have to say the Arkham Asylum from 2013, possibly or might have been 2012. And then also the Tumblr as well. Next question is from Ghost of Masala. Now he says, what is your favourite video game of all time? Now this is another hard question that I don't have a decisive answer for. I'm probably going to have to say Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes, then also the recent Battlefront games. I've not played the original, so the recent Star Wars ones, I really, really like them. And then Uncharted 4 as well. So next question here is from Alex the Best 823 who says, Hashtag Ask the Brick Den, what is your least favourite Lego set? Now I'm going to go with Lego sets that I actually own because if I go through with anything from all time I could just say you know one of the Jack Stone sets or something like that. So out of the ones I own which is also quite difficult because I really own only sets that I like because I don't get, I'm not a completionist so I don't get all the sets so I'd have to go with something I got um, a while ago but then that's difficult as well because when I was younger I would only uh, keep, I kept very few sets together. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with this uh, Man of Steel set here, which came with this yellow car. You probably don't remember it, but I think the set came with Superman and then General Zod as well, which, if I remember, neither of them were exclusive, and then the builds were extremely generic and had no significance in the film, so that was pretty important, the set, to be honest. And the minifigures came with other sets, and I already had both of them. So that's probably my least favourite set that I have built and that I own. So moving on to the next question which is from Batitude who asks favourite YouTuber and slash Lego theme and congrats on 5000 thank you very much. Okay so Lego theme I'm gonna have to go with Star Wars and that's at the moment in the past I would have said DC Comics but I do to be honest feel like that those sets more recently have been dropping in quality. We get loads of the minifigures now but to be honest the sets back when they first brought that line back were a lot lot better although the Lego Batman movie line I thought had excellent sets but that's a very limited line for one film but so Star Wars would definitely take my favourite current theme I'd probably say my favourite YouTuber now I don't have a decisive answer again I've got a couple of uh, answers here and this is also a very difficult question for me because I don't really like watch specific YouTubers more I watch videos on subjects that I'm interested in but if I had to pick I'd probably go with a channel called Geek Revolution, which you probably haven't heard of it's a fairly large channel I think it's got around 20,000 subscribers and they basically do discussion based videos that are really really interesting really really insightful about pop culture and they really know their stuff about comics and films and then also uh, a channel called Fan, I think Fan Analysis, and it's basically a podcast of a group of different YouTubers, Star Wars based YouTubers. Once again, very much a uh, discussion based channel, really, really insightful, really, really interesting. Next question here from Stormy Briggs QA If you were a Jedi, what would your lightsaber colour be? Hmm. Um, I probably have to go with 
blue I reckon it's just the classic color really that's also my favorite color as well so I couldn't really depart from that if I had a second blade possibly white I think that's go along with the blue quite well which is your favorite Marvel or DC and he says personally I prefer DC well I would have to agree with you DC is definitely my favorite I mean I am biased because I haven't read that much of Marvel I do have a much larger DC Comics collection and I've read much more of that but to be honest that does specifically focus in on Batman so my answer is really Batman not DC or Marvel so the next question here is from Preda Prime who says here's my question if you were to put any of your mocks to Lego ideas which one would you put forward now I think Lego ideas have recently changed it so you can't put forward projects from existing themes I'm not sure on that but I think that's correct so it couldn't be any of my Star Wars mocks or DC mocks so the obvious answer would definitely be Thunderbird 1 that if I were to any put, put any of them forward that would probably be it so here next question from Lego Logical whose question is I'd like to know what other hobbies you'd have besides Lego stuff that you do in your spare time so I'd probably say the main other thing is filmmaking now I don't get to do it that often unless you count YouTube uh, but for instance last summer I did make a film over the holidays I have a great great interest in it but it takes up a lot of time so I don't get to do it too often but I try and put as much cinematic quality into my YouTube videos especially the mock showcase and hopefully you've been able to see that then for other hobbies when I do have more free time I do have an interest in drawing although I don't do that as much anymore just because I'm so busy with school these days so any spare time I do get goes on Lego and I never seem to have enough time. It's why I'm always having the big breaks in videos. I try and keep it as regular as possible but it just doesn't seem to work out a lot of the time. So the next question here is from WJ Cohen HD Industries who asks basically which of the three Star Wars trilogies do I prefer and I also got another similar question uh, asking me to rank them so I'll just put these two comments down below so you can see and I'll try and answer them both together. Now once again I'm pretty indecisive on this subject so essentially this is how I'm going to describe them and hopefully this is how you'll get an idea of what I think about each trilogy. I'd say the original trilogy on a purely critical basis is the best. Then I'd say the prequels to me on a purely subjective basis is the best. Then on a combination of subjective and critical, I'd say the two sequel films are the best. That's very convoluted, I know. But if I just give you some more information about that. So, I'd say the original trilogies are definitely the best films out of the lot. But do I prefer them? Are they my favourites? Probably not. The only one that I do have any nostalgia, I suppose you could say, is episode four. The other two... I can really appreciate I do still really enjoy watching them um, but they've never been my preferred ones they've never been my Star Wars I suppose you could say so the next question here is from the real Lego Man Productions who asks what motivated you to start your YouTube channel I did get another very similar question to this uh, so I'll answer these once again together now I'd probably say it was other YouTube channels that I was watching at the time now that probably would have been Jang Bricks, The Brick Show, channels like that I think. And then also, well, I was also interested in filmmaking at that time as well and YouTube's a great way to combine those two hobbies. So I think that was probably the main two reasons why I wanted to start. So the next question here is from Jolie YT who says, I have a question, do your friends and classmates know that you have a YouTube channel with over 5,000 subscribers? And the answer to to that is yes. Now that was not the original intention. I'm not particularly loud about my channel. I didn't want to bring unwanted attention to it, but that doesn't mean other people aren't. And it just sort of escalated, to be honest. And some of the teachers even know about it. I mean, it's not an issue. I don't mind if other people know about my YouTube channel. So it's not really a problem, but hopefully that does answer your question. So next up, we've got a question from First Order Lego. Now, I've answered a lot of these already, but I'll just read them out. Uh, he says, favourite video game and Star Wars movie. He then says, favourite non-Lego YouTuber and Lego mock YouTuber. And then his third one is favourite food and colour. Now, 
I've answered the one about the favourite video game and favourite Star Wars movie and I've also answered the one about favourite non-LEGO YouTuber, so LEGO mock YouTuber, so apart from Rebel Lug, I probably have to say Jang Bricks and then also Rich Boy J as well, he does make some excellent mocks. I mean, there aren't too many really apart from um, Rebel Lug that I actually watch, so it's quite interesting. And then finally, favourite food and colour, so for food for a meal I'd probably have to say spaghetti carbonara, then for snacks, cabbage chocolate buttons, and then Kellogg's raisin nutrigrain bars. And then my favourite colour is blue. Next question is from Manuel L. Jackson who says, how old are you? And the answer to that is 16. Next one from Bricks Alive who says, the Brick Den, hi, I have three questions for the Q&A. How do you decide on the mop? What are the best bricks to stock up on and where do you get cheap bricks? So the first question, how do I decide on a mock? It's usually when I get inspired by something and whatever I feel like building the most to be honest. Sometimes I get inspired by something and then I realise it's not probably not going to be able to happen. One of the main things with that is Thunderbird 2. I've just still not got the collection to be able to build that. Uh, the next question, what, what are the best bricks to stock up on? I probably just have to say the most generic bricks possible. For me, the most useful generic bricks are going to be 1x2 dark bluish grey and 1x2 light bluish grey. They're really, really useful in any mock that I ever build and I always need as many as possible. And then the third one is where do you get cheap bricks? Bricklink is probably the best place. And then if you're lucky, the Lego store, but it tends to not really have anything too useful on it. So the next question here is from Sushi Tubber who says, Hello the Brick Den, and I wonder what you think about The Last Jedi and what your favourite movie ever is. So my thoughts on The Last Jedi is I definitely enjoy it but I'm a bit conflicted as to whether I prefer it over The Force Awakens. I'm going to have to see it a few more times. I can understand some of the criticism about it but also I can't understand some of it. My main issue I'd probably say with it is I feel that Rey is still a bit too overpowered and, and her whole training is way too brief. I do understand the in-film explanation uh, for it about her sort of being the embodiment of the light side in order to compete with Kylo Ren. That I still doesn't think excuses the jumping skill that she makes over the course of the film. But that really is only really my main problem. I do quite like the rest of the film quite a bit. Really enjoyed the direction, really enjoyed the action scenes. I also got a very similar question to this from Bricker, who basically once again was asking what I think about The Last Jedi. But then on Sushi Tubber's other question, what's my favourite movie of all time? And this is where I do have the decisive answer, and that is Batman Begins. My absolute, absolute favourite film of all time. The next question here is from Mr. Awesome Animations, who says, how many Lego sets have you purchased? Now, this is a difficult question because I'm not quite sure what you mean, because I've not actually purchased all my LEGO sets, a lot of them were actually gifts. So that is a more difficult question to answer because I really would not even be able to remember how many I've actually purchased myself. Probably not the majority, probably the majority of my sets have been gifts because when I buy LEGO I usually buy Bricklinks myself. The only way to really gauge, I reckon, how many LEGO sets I've had is probably by looking at the instructions because I don't keep all the boxes and most of the sets from when I was younger have all been broken up. So next question which is from Ultra Brick Studios who says, What is your favourite named clone trooper made by Clone Army Customs? Now for this I'd have to say Commander Cody purely because he's my favourite clone trooper from the film and from the TV show. Now next question is from BDude217 who says, do you think that mocks are a little overrated, no offence? Now that's quite a difficult question because I would say, of course, anything in particular, any in particular mock can be overrated. But broadly, as a concept, I don't think mocks are overrated. No, I think that's pretty much kind of what Lego's intended for. It's for creation, it's for imagination, but of course there are individual mocks that are overly overrated where there's far better versions of that same thing out there. Next question from Kian MC Papa Kian, who says, What is your favourite Thunderbirds episode, new series, and have you considered recreating a scene in Lego from the show? This is a very interesting question, a very good question. Now, my favourite episode from the show would have to be Crosscut from Series 1. Episode 3, if you don't count um, Ring of Fire as, as two separate episodes. And now, this is my favourite episode because one, it's got 
uh, Thunderbird 1 and, and focuses on Thunderbird 1, which is my favourite Thunderbird. Two, I think the models are excellent in that episode. And three, it's very, to me, a very classic Thunderbirds episode. You could almost see that same episode existing in the classic series. Whereas some of the other episodes are a bit far-fetched almost. I know that sounds a bit strange in terms of Thunderbirds, but I really, really like the concept of that episode of the mine. Very simple rescue, but executed extremely well. The next question here is from Commander Bricks, who says, I have a question for the Q&A. What was the very first Lego set you ever got? It's between two, but what I actually think it is, is a Lego City Fireboat. Now, I have this picture on screen. I reckon I got this around my fifth or sixth birthday. So hopefully that does answer your question. So the next question here is from LCW Productions, and they ask if you had all the Lego you, you ever wanted, what would you do with them? And there's also a very similar question from CTBLY. Now, I think if I had all the pieces I'd ever won, I'd probably build a giant city of some sorts. Now, I was thinking about this and I thought, I'd probably do Gotham City now. I did do it before and what I pretty much realised over the course of that is I do not have enough bricks to do this justice. So if I had all the bricks, I'd probably just pretty much build the whole of Gotham City from the Nolanverse, all, all the streets, all the scenes, and make it, uh, each part be separated and do it in full minifig scale, so giant skyscrapers. But if I were to do it with Star Wars, I would probably build uh, Coruscant. I'd have lots of different levels like we see in the film and the TV show. I'd have the Jedi Temple, I'd have the Senate building, I think that would make an excellent mock if I had infinite amount of pieces. So the next question here is from H2 Brick, who says, Who are your inspirations to make mocks? Where do you get your inspiration? How much do you spend on average per mock? Will you be visiting any other conventions in Europe? Favourite Lego element and favourite minifigure? Now I have answered sort of similar questions before, but for the first one, who are your inspiration to make mocks? So obviously Rebel Lug is a massive inspiration and loads of other builders on Flickr, loads and loads of great inspiration and then, you know, I, I know this doesn't sort of count as personal and individual but of course films, which does bring me on to the next one, where do you get your inspiration? For the specific techniques and stuff like that, and it is Flickr, Instagram, YouTube, but then for actual subject matters of mocks and what the mocks going to be, it's very much films, TV show, comics, games, all that sort of stuff. And then for the next part, how much do you spend on average per mock? Now, in terms of money, probably below £50, I'd say, on most mocks. Sometimes it does go over there if I really need to get a lot of more pieces of a particular type. For instance, Scarif, I had to order all those leaves, which was quite expensive. But on some mocks, I don't have to order anything because I have all the pieces already. And then in terms of time, it's very hard to estimate in terms of hours, but I'd say for months, around two months, I think at max it's about five months, Arkham was about five months to build, then stuff like the smaller Scarif mock that I did was about a month, the end of the Jones was about two weeks, so it's, it's all different in terms of time because I build lots of different scales of mocks so it's quite difficult to put but the big mocks that are my big projects that I do the long update series on are usually around four months. Then this next one Will you be visiting any other conventions in Europe? Now, I assume he means mainland Europe, uh, not in the UK, because if it is in the UK, I am planning to visit some in the UK, but in terms of mainland Europe, probably not in the near future. I would really like to, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Hopefully in the UK this year, go to Brick Live again in Birmingham, and then I'm also thinking about going to the LEGO convention in the Space Centre, uh, which I think's in March or April, I'm not sure, but... Now, his next question is favourite Lego element. Now, for that, I'd have to say the slope pieces. I have them in loads of different colours. I have them in some colours. I have them in quite a large quantity. They're just fantastic. They come in handy all the time. Great for smoothing off edges. And to be honest, I've only been actually getting a lot of these pieces over the last year or so, but they're really favourite. They come in handy all the time. And you've probably seen me use them on a lot of my mocks. And finally, favourite minifigure. Once again, very indecisive on this. Uh, I'd probably say the Peter Capaldi Doctor Who Lego Dimensions minifigure. And then also the 212th Phase 2 Clone Troopers from the Battle Packs. And then more recently, I'd have to say 
the Poison Ivy from the Lego Batman movie and the Riddler from the Lego Batman movie. I think they're great interpretations of those characters and then also just not purely for how great the figure is but just for the character, the um, Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that does bring this Q&A to an end. Hopefully I answered your questions well enough if I did answer them in the video. And as I said earlier, if I didn't get to it, I will try and send you a reply on YouTube or on Instagram. Definitely stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be Camino Update 2. I think I may have another special video before that, but I'm not sure. And in that update, I'll be working on Camino itself. But for now, please leave a comment if you did enjoy this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching.